Now I love TikTok. I will be the first to admit it, okay? So I thought what better way to provide you guys content than to watch my favorite TikToks and somebody can enjoy the nice juicy ad revenue. Universal Music Group, have your fun, okay? Buy yourself something nice with this ad rev, okay? Also, before we get into it, I wanna let you guys know that I do post on TikTok and I post very, very epic TikToks. So go follow me on TikTok, all right? This is for Rachel, you big, fat, white, nasty, smelling, fat, big. Why you took me off the motherfucking schedule with your trifling, dirty, white, racist ass, big, fat, big. Quality content, ladies and gentlemen, quality content. I feel like this is gonna give you guys a bit of an insight onto what my sense of humor is also, and I'm a little bit worried. Like, I feel like I'm opening up a lot here. I'm really putting myself out there. Get married, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Okay. I stayed up super late last night, decided I was gonna do something cute for my husband. Made a That's heart a lot of notes. For all the reasons that I love him. Awesome, right? What do I wake up to? A note of my own. Be careful, don't drink the milk because it has gone bad. I was super confused because we don't drink cow's milk. How the hell does almond milk go bad? <laughs> See, I look at that, I'm like, damn, that's fucking goals right there, dude. Are you kidding me? Damn, boy. Damn, damn boy. boy. He's thick. <laughs> boy, that's a thick ass boy. Whew, okay, I'm okay. I'm a mature adult, okay? I'm 25 this year. I am mature. Hooking up with a guy sober after you've hooked up with him drunk. Were you nervous doing that? You know what? I was nervous for my second performance, for my first performance. I was like, I feel like TikTok has such a culture around lip syncing things and it's like, this is clearly not her talking, but she found a funny sentence in an interview and was like, I can match this up with that time that I hooked up with that guy sober and then drunk before that, like, you know. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% squishy. These videos are so short and sweet and I'm just like, oh my God, squishy. I don't even like cats and I like this TikTok. The cat just looks so yeah. done with it. It's like, no, I am not here to entertain you. I am not here to get you TikTok clout, okay? And get out of here and show you guys. I already know what it is. Rise and shine. Okay, do you see what I mean about half of them being about pets? I'm sorry. When the whole Kylie Jenner rise and shine thing became a thing, these TikToks were banging. All right, then. Are you cutting watermelon? Because I just can't believe that's one piece you cut up. That's a piece of a watermelon. I want to bite into it like, oh, no. That's like a... Look how small it is! Am I five months old? I just love how this dad was just so angry about the size of the watermelon that his wife had cut. Like, am I five months old? It's like, yeah, you are, dad. Just eat the watermelon and shut up. Hey, yo. Pet check. It's a kangaroo. It's legit a pet kangaroo. Are you kidding me? That's all it was. Yeah, that's legit all it was. I feel like a lot of the time with TikTok, you get attached to a song. So you'll go through and watch all the ones that have that song backing it. It's like pet check. They have a pet kangaroo. I don't care if that was two seconds long. We're gonna look at it again and we're gonna enjoy it. Okay, look at this teeny tiny kangaroo. Pet check. It has a harness on. Are you kidding me? They're just literally vacuuming the dog. Where do I begin? No words can explain the way I'm missing you. Why? I think it's the contrast of the fact that it's like a sad song and you probably expect something sad to be alongside it or something wholesome. And it's literally this dad just vacuuming the dog. Do you have any final words? To I love say this for old lady. 2019? I'm glad it's over. Why? <laughs> I seriously adore old people and this old lady is so adorable. They're like, any final thoughts on 2019? She's like, bitch, I'm glad it's over. Like, oh my God, you are so adorable. Yet so funny. This is my dog, Allie. Ain't she the cutest? Yeah, until she get a bone. Then she become a crackhead. Look at her, so cute. Now watch, when I give her this bone and me and my friend right here, try to take it. Me and my friend right here, it's a sock with a face on it. Pray for me. She, she the bit, she. My hand just might be bleeding under. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the devil is inside that dog. Just the dog's face. This is terrifying. Ah! 
<laughs> he's trying to get his water out of this bottle that's clearly got ice in it. And he's like, I could do this. I could do it. And you already know what's gonna happen. I wish this fly would fuck off. I also feel like I'm always like dancing along to the songs. Don't be suspicious, don't. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. So first second in you hear don't be suspicious and if you're on TikTok, you know something's about to go down. You know something happened. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Like the dog's just like, what are you talking about? I didn't, I didn't ruin, you know, the pot plant. I didn't wrap it around my head. No, I'm, if we just sit here and act like nothing happened, nothing happened, okay? I think because I'm a dog owner, I can relate to these ones so much. My dogs are the devils. They are both devils. This entire video is just me looking at dog TikToks. Oh, I'm getting PTSD from Biscuit doing this. Toby! <laughs> oh! But look at how cute Toby is! I know that he's completely like fucked up your entire room, but like, come on. Look at how cute he is over there. Toby! Toby! Okay, this one's not dog related, guys. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, how I wish to leave this dark, cold ground and see the sunlight. Maybe become a hash brown or a McDonald's french fry. Oh, when will my life begin? It's a potato, guys. You get it? Look, it's a potato. Or a McDonald's french fry. I just love it. I just love it. Making my way back home. It's been a long day. Time to, Time to see, see my, my fluffy dog. Fluffy dog. Fat bitch. <laughs> that dog didn't deserve it, okay? She just thick. Like, look at her. She just mind her own business and you walk in and call her a fat bitch. That's just rude, dude. That's just rude. There was also this trend going around on TikTok where people do text-to-speech about really f***ed up things that people have done while they're drunk. So they just like write it all in the text-to-speech. Justin, it is okay that one time in college you got drunk and were running through a muddy football field with your friend on your back and you decided to drop her. And when she fell, she got mad at you and said, Justin, I'm done with you. And she started running at you and you felt like she was going to hit you. And you decided that your best defense mechanism was to mule kick her in the chest. So you did just that. It wasn't your fault. You were drunk and you felt threatened. She was okay. She didn't die. Like, they put like this sad music behind it and it's got that same text-to-speech voice and it's like, Yeah, you are. Uh, you felt threatened so you mule kicked this bitch in the chest like you guys probably don't even think that this is funny i'm sorry i just it's the kind of shit that i get entertained by like the fact that they have this sad music playing behind it and it's something so stupid that he did i just love it okay and i will say before watching this one whatever this voice is used i have no idea how people get this voice i need to figure out how because i want to start making tiktoks with this voice i automatically think whatever they are saying is funny just because of the way that the voice sounds it's weird I bought some milk chocolate and I accidentally got the coconut version. <laughs> See, like, that's so basic. But the fact that it has that voice changer on it, I'm like, I'm done. I cannot stop laughing. Laughing out loud. LMAO. Ruffle. See, this has the voice again. What? What? I miss the school bus. I relate to this one. Me waiting for my bitch to pick up. This one had absolutely no purpose other than the fact that it's a cute ass fucking guinea pig or hamster or some shit or a rat. I don't know what it is, but look at its little cute nose and it's waiting for its bitch to pick up. <gasps> What's gonna happen? So it's meant to be like an optical illusion of like, oh, you think it's a reflection? Nah, -uh, it's actually my own hands. But how is he recording it? Oh yeah, with his face. Look at this man's. This man's legit taped his phone to his face. People are doing wild, wild things for TikTok. Let me tell you that much. The dog with the voice change is even better. She's just trying to give her dog some love and it just is not having it. Ooh, pistachios. Must give to friend. Feel Must like, give. Feel like, feel like. Try this. <laughs> You're like, sure, she's gonna give her friend a pistachio nut. How nice. But then. <laughs> How they 
kept a straight face until the end. I don't know. Cool hand pop out. I would have just pissed myself laughing. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about me and what I enjoy on TikTok. God damn. My sense of humor is, is weird. My sense of humor is weird. But I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Goodbye. <gasps> he ate.